I'm a big fan of bringing more organic textures and sounds into my lo-fi hip-hop beats. Artists like Bonobo and Forte and Floating Points use this in their electronic music. But when it comes to lo-fi beats, I don't think it's used enough. So it's adding all of that crunchy percussion and the sort of textured pads and sounds into a beat to give it more space and more of an organic flow. So in this video, I'm going to be making an organic lo-fi hip-hop beat, which I'll show you how it evolves after this. And then I'll break down all of the effects and VSTs and sounds that I use for this sort of style of music. Plus, as always, there's going to be a competition giveaway and a little hidden competition as well, which I'll talk about more at the end of the video. So I'm just going to show you the process of creating the beat and then I'll break down the project file as well as the VSTs and effects that I've used at the end. So stick around for that. But anyway, here is the idea creation. So before I dive into the project file and break down everything that's going on in there, uh, there were two sort of ranges of instruments that I used for most of these sounds. The first one was from Elementary Sounds. It was their sort of Tanya uh, and their guitar, which was Remina 1. And then from Felt Instruments, I used some of their pianos, their percussive stuff and the viola. So I've talked about Elementary Sounds before. I did a video on them fairly recently, so I'll link that in the description down below if you want to find out more about those three plugins. And Felt Instruments I've used quite a bit as well in various tracks and breakdowns over the years. Uh, they're a great range of plugins for organic sounds. They're a little bit chaotic and sometimes hard to mix, but they've got some really nice organic chaotic textures amongst them so we definitely recommend checking them out as well and i'll show you what i've used exactly from their range as i break the track down so i'll just delve in track by track and show you what i was doing so i've just got my usual atmosphere with some market samples in the background there it's nice to have that sort of vinyl crackle with the sort of randomness of a field recording just to add a little bit of variation to these sort of organic songs then next up we've got this drone sound from tanya this is just playing a C and a G as a sort of drone note. I think the track was in C minor. Um, and then we've got this section here triggered, uh, not fully, but just enough to give it that yarn and reverse texture. So it adds little sprinkles of sound as well as reverse sounds as well. So I'm just playing the two notes and we're getting that chaotic sort of sound nature kicking in. If I disable all the effects first, this is what it sounds like. So the first thing I did because it's a drone, I don't want it to muddy up the mix as I cut out some of them resonant lows. I'll do more mixing after when I do the full mix down, but that was that. I also then used Portal with the Sleep Cycle preset, which added a little bit more movement and variation. And then again, another Portal with uh, like a reverse delay on there as well. And then finally, spaced out for a little bit of reverb. So that just goes through for the whole track. So to start off, we have those two, and then we bring in this piano from uh, Fell Instruments. So I just did a little bit of EQing here to get rid of some of the top end and some of the sort of low mids there. They are quite noisy, the Fell Instruments stuff. They've used a lot of analog gear, a lot of old analog gear. Uh, so it's very, you know, imperfect. 
uh, but that adds to the character so that's the sort of price you pay I guess uh, you've got to control it in the mix so you use EQs and compressors and stuff like that so that's just Leco uh, on the half speed sustain so it takes all of the samples from the piano and just slows them down and then you can play through it that way so that kicks in and alongside that we've got another one from Leco which I'll unfreeze it's called Tears in the Rain and again it's sort of like a granular sort of textural pad thing and that's just mimicking the chords that I'm playing on the piano and also with this one if you control the modulation wheel it brings in the sort of swells that you can hear uh, and then on top of that a bit of spaced out and then in the intro we have this little sort of piano texture as well which I might mix up So as you can hear, it's very textured, very sort of organic sounding. Uh, and that's the sort of sound that I love at the moment. So yeah, that all sort of builds up. And then we drop in with the kick. So a simple progression. Using my usual kick from, uh, I can't remember what the SSTS was, uh, but I've paired that with a kick from my last sample pack, which was ML Dusty Kick 1. And then all of these textures come in. So these are the stuff that I recorded. So I've got like uh, brush sounds, uh, textures from like drumsticks rattling together and then all that sort of good stuff. This was like the drumstick sound. So I've just added uh, an auto filter to cut some of the lows, a convolution reverb for a tiny bit of reverb and a compressor which ducks it and gives it a bit of movement in relation to the kick. Uh, I've also got a sketch cassette on there, which is adding a little bit of wow and cutting off some of the highs. That's on the group of, of these all these sounds here. So this thing was the thing I recorded with the drumsticks. I've got a brush feet on all of these, just getting rid of the background noise from the mic. And I've got half time on there as well, which is basically taking snippets of the audio and playing them back, uh, slowed down and blending it with the initial one. So without, it's just like that with a little bit more sort of deep then i've got this thing which is just a brush on something then i've got a tea bag shaker of course uh, and then i've got another tea bag shaker it smells great peppermint if anyone's wondering uh so in context this i also played the bass so i've just put flat ones on my bass guitar uh, this is just running di with no effects the flat ones sound great um then we've got some new textures we've got the viola from uh let's go viola from felt instruments again with portal and spaced out on there giving it a little bit of delay and reverb and also this guitar thing, which I really love. So if I unfreeze. Here, what we're doing is playing the same chords as I was uh, here for the sort of other swell. But this time, rather than just playing them, I've got a arpeggiator on there. So that's playing the individual notes separately in a sort of straight down up style with these settings here i've got add some random which is again changing the velocities of the individual notes uh, so as it passes through and progresses through the track it's not always the same so those are the two midi effects we've then got the Romina one guitar that's just the bog standard preset and you can see i'm modulating the uh, effects on there as well cut the lows because i just want it to be a sort of background thing added portal which is giving it that sort of spacious swell that's on the sleep cycle added spaced out for a bit of reverb and then because portal added a little bit of low end i've cut it again so that comes in with the viola for the additional textures i also had this which i don't think you can hear much in the mix which is again another arpeggiated thing. Uh, 
uh, but maybe somewhere in the background it's adding a little bit of a flair to the track. I also have this little piano line, which is again from Leco. It's spaced out. You've really got to cut the highs on some of these because it's got quite a sort of white noise hiss on the top end. Uh, but yeah, that's that one. And they also bring in this little lap steel, which is just going through my usual guitar chain. Uh, they've also got a spaced out for some reverb and portal on the end of that too. That's just the bog standard default choppy portal preset you get. I then recorded this guitar. This is my new Strat. I'm not sure what I'm gelling with it really, uh, so I may not have it long, but still getting used to it. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I played my Strat through my amp and recorded it. I didn't get my usual uh, sort of mic for guitar cabs and I was a little bit far away from the cab so the mic positioning wasn't great uh, but I just wanted a quick sort of lo-fi recording so this is what I got. I then passed it through some of my usual effects rust free to get rid of all of the room noise and spaced out on there as well. So yeah that's pretty much everything that went into the track. I'll start playing the mixed sort of final version of it as well in the background now. I really love using these plugins because it adds such a chaotic and interesting depth to a track without actually having to do too much. So yeah, I would highly recommend checking them out. I'll do links to both of their websites in the description down below. As I said at the start of the video, there is gonna be another competition with this one. So all you've got to do to enter is like, be a subscriber and comment on the video and I'll pick one of the random commenters. And the winner will win Leco from Fail Instruments, which was the instrument that featured heavily in this video. So as soon as it hits just 200 likes in this video, I'll be giving away that to one of the commenters. So be sure to get in there before that happens. And as a bonus competition, I've added a code in the video somewhere. Uh, if you find a comment in the description down below, I'll give you $20 to my store. So you can buy a sample pack or some merch or whatever you want to buy from the loops.com store. So you've just got to find the code somewhere in the video, comment it, and the first one who does that will get the prize for that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next week.